Hi everybody, me again. A few people have asked me how to update or upgrade their Plex server uh, if they're running that on a Raspberry Pi like I am. So I run a Plex server on a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, 8 gig of RAM version, but I think the process is the same for all of them. So here I am, I'm on my laptop, I'm logged into my uh, Raspberry Pi server. This is the IP address of that uh, on my network, 192.168.1.25. So you'll see from time to time in the top menu bar um, a notification that there is a server update available. It tells you the currently running version and then the version that's available for update or upgrade. Um, so for me to do that, you can do that uh, headless, um, which I find easier. You can do that via putty, or you can even do that from the uh, command line window in uh, Windows. So given I'm on my Windows laptop, I will choose the command, uh, command line prompt. So the first thing you want to do is SSH into your Raspberry Pi. So for that, you just type SSH space the username. My username for that is Pi and then at, and you want to put in the IP address. So mine was 192.168.1.25. Press enter. That allows you for a login. So you go ahead and enter your uh, password. I'll just do that now. So I'll just clear the screen out. It doesn't like that for some reason. That's better. So cleared that out and there's just two commands that you need to do. The first one um, is a super user command. So super user do space apt dash get and update and press enter. So let that run. Uh, it might take a little while while it just gets all the packages that it needs to do. Once that's done, uh, there's only one more command uh, to enter, and that is sudo space apt get again, but this time you want to do upgrade. Press enter, press yes when prompted, and enter. Let that run through the upgrade, so now that's installing all of the updates. So when that's finished, you then should have the latest version of Plex on your Raspberry Pi. So we just let that run through. Um, and then the last thing you want to do is reboot uh, the server for that to take effect and then log back into um, your Plex front end and you will see that the update has uh, taken. So just carry on watching this upgrade for a bit. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we're back, that's all done. Uh, that took probably two minutes to do, so quite quick. So then just do a sudo reboot and press enter. So now that uh, remote host has been closed while it reboots, go back over to your laptop um, or however else you're doing, you're logging into Plex server, refresh. So there we are, back into the Plex server, and this time you can see there's no notifications on the dashboard. So um, that's it, nice and simple. That's Plex on a Raspberry Pi updated uh, through a headless connection, this time through Windows command prompt. Hope that helped. If it does, please consider subscribing or hitting that notification icon so you know when I drop the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.